Welcome back, guys. We're going to continue this video game now. We have some business to take care of on another planet. Oh, also, now I said I was going to try using the controller. Well, we're going to do that, and we're going to see how how great it is. I'm sure it's fantastic. I'm sure it's a great experience. Okay, so we need to go... I don't actually remember where we need to go. I think it's here. Like, this sounds right. Which means it's probably not right. Anomaly on sensors. Well, there's an anomaly. I guess we should... Wow, that is really slow. My goodness. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Okay, so how do you skip these? Okay, good. Well, I we may as well scan the planets. There's like barely any of them, so this shouldn't take too long. Anomaly detected. Gee, I wonder where it could be. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. Well, I actually got a lot of stuff. This had better be the right system, actually. This is pretty bad. I didn't. I didn't actually check what was, what it was what it was called. I mean, the planet was marked, so that probably means it's the right system. Probes launched. I found something. Yep, that sure is a storm. Look at it. Okay. Enough of that nonsense. Let's go to Vold. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Yep, this is the planet. So, gotta very slowly. I don't know why that's so damn slow. Goodness. So, Vold is a pretty fun planet. He lied. Well, we got a new gun. Let's give that bad boy a whirl. And I guess for the sidearm. Kind of want to bring this, actually. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, I can not take three guns, can't I? Well, I don't think I'm gonna. My weight's already pretty bad. Minus 10% clip size. So the gun has one shot. What would that even actually do? Oh man. This this actually might be kind of useful because this gun has like no ammo. I think I'll take that. And what else we got? Yeah, that's fine. As for armor, well, we did pick up some new stuff, didn't we? And we'll probably pick up some more armor because I think there was another set to get on this planet. I kind of want to stick with the armor I'm using right now, although I could mod it. I don't really want to use this mod because it it's... The, the pros are very vastly outweighed by the cons. So I think I'm going to just skip. Yeah, these are all not not mods I want to use, so let's just not. I should actually use some of these at some point, shouldn't I? I probably should, but I won't. So we're going to bring Jaw. We're going to just keep bringing Jaw, because, like, 
all this stuff kind of it has to do with his species, so we should probably keep bringing him. They haven't used Veteran a bit. Wait, why is this... Okay, no. It was just on the goal, but I thought it was goal, but it isn't actually. Okay, we're ready to go. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6, vold to the Angarai, is ice. And those oceans, frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Get out and push. Very funny, Ryder. So, this planet is snowy as hell, and uh, it's a hazard to be outside, so we probably shouldn't. Suvi wasn't kidding about the cold. We have some things to follow. Wait, actually, I just remembered that I have some points to spend. So let's see here. I do want to get some biotics. So we can prime with Singularity. I actually want to... Hmm, Singularity and Shockwave might be a good combo. So I would throw. Well, I think... Well, Lance, obviously, also. Good old Lance. I think I'll level up Singularity a bit. Longer duration or bigger radius? You know, I think I'll go with bigger radius. And let's just put that... So... I'm using a controller, which means the powers are used in a different way. Let's also put this on here. And since we've switched this up, let's also grab the Adept profile. Good place for a secret hideout. The snow and ice camouflages everything. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You're probably being watched. Great. They really mean business, don't they? You may be wondering how we're going to deal with all this cold. Well, don't you worry about that. Hold on, I gotta... Alright. There are things that'll heat you up. Just gotta find one. Like that, right there. No, no. So mantle and dodge are the same buttons. Can I get the prompt, please? There we go. There's no prompt here. That's fine. This is a great control scheme. Right ahead. I need a minute to defrost. We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive. Life support restored. Oh yeah, this is the thing with this planet. You get cold, but there'll be heaters around. So every now and then, you gotta take a pit stop. 
temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Hey, fellas. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support is stable. Sam, shut up. She knows. We're headed to see her now. God, rude ass android. Talking over the jaw dudes. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Thanks, Sam. I still can't find him. His sister came through here. Set out alone to search for him. And she's as tough as her brother. I hope you're wearing gloves. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Oh, you're not gonna tell me it's cold, Sam? But I was I, I mean, I, how would I how would I know? How would I tell what the weather is like without Sam constantly reminding me? Extreme cold is the There he goes. Word's getting around that you're alright. I'll decide for myself once I talk to Ephra. So Hold on. There's a cache, guys. We're gonna have to get that. Getting some frame rate issues, my goodness. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support restored. I hear you have a very impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit and will make his day. My long lost brother. <laughs> You can find some of what you need here on Vault. The rest, out and about. Well, we got a thing. No, we don't need to worry about that too much right I now. You, Hera. I know. Who knows how much time we have? That hover hand, though. Damn. Rough. What? Oh, wait. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Thanks, Sam. I'm reading a normal temperature range. Shut the fuck up, Sam. So I'm pretty sure some of the stuff I need to make the, the gun that I like is on this planet. By I'm pretty sure I mean it goddamn well better be or else I'm going to be very upset. Well, we should probably get going. So there's, of course, a bunch of side quests to do. This whole planet takes a very long time to finish, actually. Well, we're supposed to go that way, so we're not going to go that way. So on controller, it would actually make sense to hold Y, because Y is your melee button, I think. I think that's what it said. Welcome. You are the Pathfinder, yes? I am Roshua Lin. What are these symbols on the wall? My people worship here, in private. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. Why don't you practice religion in public? 
Those who are slaves to the Ket are forbidden to express their spiritual beliefs. We honor their isolation by practicing privately. Faith is also strongest when no one sees it. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families, so that they all find the strength I once longed for. What do you believe? In the never-ending growth of a soul that is reincarnated within a family. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, is stronger the dynasty. Oh, you could stand a little closer. Oh, I guess he can't. Vetra, that's very unconsiderate. Blocking Jaws' path, come on. Ah, there we go. Just gonna take that. Okay. Huh. Looks like medical supplies. Probably shouldn't tamper with them. Take some. Take them all. We're gonna need some kind of stimulant. Well, I have Kajari and Suma. Or out of everything else. Apparently they're missing some medical supplies, well. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. This is my friend, Macy. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jal's the brave one. How do you get supplies with a cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves and hidden paths all over Vold. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the cat. Maybe if you clear that cat station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold, and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Good luck, and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. I like how she's talking all this shit like I'd kill you. Fucking square up, Thought. Hey, shit. Don't lie on the table. There's, like, beds everywhere. Why are you on the- come on. Uh, if you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through and I need to see to them. You guys seem very understaffed. Volunteer medics are hard to come by, especially ones who can handle Vold. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. What do you mean, go dark? Right, I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here.
All right, let's actually get a side quest or two going here. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Don't you have more important places to be? I'm Pathfinder Ryder with the Andromeda Initiative from... Wonderful. You're from far away. Do they have magical healing where you're from? Nothing more advanced than what you have. Then where you're from is useless to me right now. Stand over there. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder can help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. Well, it's gonna... These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. Well, first... well, not the first side quest on this planet. Don't mind me. Well, let's actually make progress now, I guess. Game's not gonna finish itself, unfortunately. Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Thank you for allowing us into your base, Commander. Your actions display your soul's intentions. I hope you will join the fight against the Ket. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. If your current approach isn't working, we'll need to find another one. Our main problem is a lack of fighters. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the cat? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the cat, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. So, before we get out of here, just gonna go through some more emails. This is all very important information right here.
Is there anything in this room? Well, yes, there is, actually. Also, there's that cache. Although... Not sure how to get access to that. It seems to be, like, on the roof. Maybe. Well, maybe it's not. Hold on. This is very important, alright. Hey, has a single cache so far been bad? See, this was a good cash. All right. So one more side quest to pick up, and then we can actually get to the planet proper. Oh. Yarrett says she hands it. God, I hate this about modern games. I like, I like it. Just takes like seconds to change direction. I can't stand that. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. Those data pads are encrypted. How did you... <sighs> I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way, no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search. But, I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Yeah, I'm great at just holding a button down. See, look. Look at this. Ralph, my friend. Bam. Welcome home, brother. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Amazing at decryption, guys. I haven't been scanning stuff in here, have I? They all say the same thing. The Resistance is missing supplies. Really? Can't scan that? I mean, it looks a little important. Okay, sure. Well, let's get going. I know it took a bit, but we're actually gonna do some stuff. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Last time. Life support but is back online. Get... Shut up, Sam. Yeah, do I. You're so good at guilting me, Zeke. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien. The one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? <laughs> I'll wait over here while you two sort this out. You see, Beniska, the Pathfinder agrees with me. Yes, yes, sure. So, what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights. You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? 
Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat want to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, nope. you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care, stay safe. You be safe too, Jarl Amadarov. As your sister recovered from her mission, she was brave. So brave. She is. Both recovered and brave. Thank you for asking. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. All right. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. So let's see how... Okay, oh. Sam, what's Volt got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. What about the Angara, the Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. I like how they have to tell you, hey, being out in the cold is bad. Don't do that. So how does driving this thing feel? Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. I figure probably better with a controller. Can you even see through this snow? Trust me. <clears throat> Follow the lights, Ryder. Visibility is fine. You guys are fucking stupid. We're back at the ship. And there's something right up ahead here. It's just, uh... Mm -hmm. This is fine. Gonna... Yep. Temperature's back to normal. Oh. Well. Let's see how... Oh, okay, I'm a little stuck here. So the controls seem fine, I guess. I'm kind of dying a lot, actually. Over here! Little busy guy. Can you just juke that? This feels bad. Pathfinder, this way. So not only is there like a bunch of auto aim, which isn't a surprise, but damn. So who needs help? Where are you exactly? Scott, they almost got past me. 
Easy. Are you all right? Better now that those cat are dead. Ah, I thought I could lead them the other way. If you hadn't come along, they'd be halfway to our camp by now. How bad are you hurt? Can you make it back? It'll be comical, but I can walk. And I know a secret route to the camp. Just wide enough for one. I can get back faster than you're over. Have the cat tracked down the resistance here? No, no, these scum caught a signal flash and were too stubborn to ignore it. You didn't give them time to report in. All their superiors will know is that they went missing in the blizzard. What are you doing out here? I'm just a scout. I'm supposed to make sure the cat get lost out here and stay lost. But they were more prepared than I thought. I got... I got careless. We have to keep going. Go, go. I'll roll the cat bodies off the cliff before I head back. But they're already go Wow, you're fast. Damn. That was real quick to get those bodies out of here. Oh, that's... Back is the weapon wheel. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. I have to do something important. Let's just unplug that. And just throw that away. Alright. That's better. Okay, let's keep playing the game now. I, I, hey, I tried it. I tried it. And it's trash. Whoa, that was... <laughs> that was something. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Okay, so let's see. What's the first thing we should do? So, there's a drop point here. Which is about the supply drops. Then we also have... Oh, hitting the rocks for science. That old thing that we were trying to do. And just look at the size of this map. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to do here. I guess we'll start with the drop point and see if we can check that out, find out what's going on. What? Oh, I missed it. Wasn't paying attention to the thing. Okay. So right over here somewhere is the drop point. And those some bad guys. Does kind of suggest something's up there. Are you trying to snipe me? Do you know who I am? That's how you do it, you dumbass. Trying to snipe me. <laughs> oh. Gonna extra prime him. What? Hold on, I got this. I got this. Why were Angara attacking us? Pathfinder, I detect a data pad nearby. Oh, hey, a phalanx. I actually kind of want to equip this. You know what? Let's get rid of this, actually. Hopefully, my weight is down. I don't know if you can actually check that in the menus anywhere. I probably should know if you could do that. Oh, so I leveled up. I should probably take care of that. Um... So I do love me some Lance. So I know you can like aim Lance at specific parts of someone, but I like don't do that at all. Not on purpose. If it happens, it's not because I'm doing it. It's because it just happened. You know, pull is pretty good. Oh man, multiple enemies can get pulled. I think I know what I'm going to get. So there's a data pad here. So someone is telling them about 
the thing, or they're getting the information somehow. Hmm. Axul, should I know about him? That's a conversation for another time. Pathfinder, I have informed Onisk. The drop point is secure. Good. The Resistance should get their supplies now. So unfortunately, this gun is not upgraded. Pretty sure. But, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay. We got another mineral to scan. And this video is getting a little long, so we might be ending it kind of soon. Oh, that's a there's a lot of rocks here, huh? Which one of these do I actually want to go to? Eh. I'm sure I can find it. Got something here. Well. Like something blew up. Can't really do anything here, though. So let's just get going. All right. Also, we got ice on this planet, and yeah, it does what you think it would do. We do have high traction mode, which helps a lot, as you can see. Undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. Cat ahead, Pathfinder. I recommend caution. Okay, let's just get back in the car. And you're probably noticing that uh, starting to get a little cold. So our life support doesn't regenerate to getting in the car. So, uh should probably find that uh, that new supply point refill everything Get ready to fight all right hold on it's just uh well, that's no good Alright. Kind of antsy about shooting this gun. Because, you know. I really gotta try to get some, like, magazine upgrades. Because those are, those are a thing. Oh. No, get back up. Come on. You know you wanna. Aw. Just stay like that for a second. Okay, thank you. Out already? Damn, this gun does not have a lot of ammo. I mean, I like it. It's not, like, bad. But man, I need to get some upgrades with this thing. Offset that low capacity. I do have one, too. Hmm. That's not too bad, actually. Alright, life support's getting pretty bad. I should probably get the consumable that lets you ignore that temporarily. But it's fine. We just go and get in the thing and just go over to the thing. Hey. Why do you come to Helios? General you or personal you? You, Vetra. Personally. Same reason everyone else did. Bought the pitch. Hmm. Must have been an impressive pitch. Was it worth it? It better be. This is definitely gonna work. Did your people have plans to settle here? You seem easily affected by the cold. I wonder if we'll ever see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on. See, it worked. 
Nailed it. Okay. That took way too goddamn long. Holy crap. And there's so much stuff on this planet. But I do kind of need to get my life support restored, so that, that's going to take priority. Picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for Asari survey vessel, Harry Fona. That's the ship you're looking for. We might be close. Hmm. Well, there's a supply cache right here, actually, so... First things first. This is obviously more important. I mean, it's like right here. So, let's get it. Wow. This is actually a really good one. Well, all right then. That's the grenade launcher too, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that that's what the piranha is. Not a huge fan of grenade launchers in this game. So we found an Asari ship, but we're gonna just hit up this thing first. Activated. Deploying forward station. And then we're gonna call it a video. Here that isn't freezing. It's not that cold. Let it go. Are you going the right way? Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. So we're gonna we're gonna call a video here. You have so much crap to do, guys. So much crap to do, but I think we'll be uh trying to figure out well there is an Asari ship nearby somewhere. Oh, we have so many things to do. So I guess next time we'll we're gonna do something. Oh man, should probably get Cora here actually. Well, I guess we'll have to see about that later. See you next time.